I don't think you're ready for this. Because, uh, you know what? We're going to watch Caitlin Bennett's wedding video. Now, you might think to yourself, wow, what a, what a terrible thing to do. Uh, well, she put it up on her own channel, Liberty Hangout, for people to watch. And I figured, you know what? We'll watch her wedding video. Maybe it will be really nice, and or it will combine some amount of fascist propaganda with her wedding. You know, uh, we'll we'll see how it how it goes, and then we'll watch some of her current content. Are y'all ready? Does she poop herself in this one? Well, she does make a bold choice to wear a white wedding gown, um, which, uh, given her history, pretty dangerous move. Pretty dangerous move. It's a shotgun marriage. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's a shotgun marriage. Uh, she she married her uh, video editor or like videographer or boss at uh, Liberty Hangout. Either way, we're gonna watch this video. Let's check it out. Many times we compare life to a long journey. And along the road of life, you meet a variety of people. Some you only join for a short time, sharing a small part of your life. Those people are your friends. While others you meet over and over along the way, for long times and for short. sharing memories of lives present and past. Those are your relatives. Now I do want to say, this wouldn't be very cringy if um, she wasn't a fascist. <laughs> like that, that's the, that's the key part here, is that this is a fine wedding video so far. But she's a fascist, and so is her husband. Her husband supposedly went to a gay conversion place. Ooh, yikes! Oh, mommy. But along the way lies one special I'm person. I'm not sure where the wedding was. A person you never want to part from now that they've been found. Oh, no, it's in St. Augustine? I'm not sure what that is, actually. St. Augustine... Location? Oh, it's a city in Florida. Okay. They, they got married in Florida, everyone. <laughs> A person who makes you feel like you've never felt before. Someone who you truly love. Who makes your life seem complete. That is a person that will be at your side until the end of the road. We were supposed to be here last year, but God had other plans for us. And thank God indeed that he did. There would have been a torrential thunderstorm during the ceremony. And if it were never postponed, we wouldn't have known who to consider our true friends and our true family. Anyone who knows my wife and I knows that our lives are full of roadblocks and a lot of oddities. But you know what never was canceled when everything else was? Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> you know it wasn't canceled when everything else was like my bride. 
our wedding ceremony in the Catholic Church. Because through all the pain, God finds a way to shine. And like everything else in life, these were all truly blessings in disguise. That's why Kate and I have been so successful at overcoming all the obstacles thrown our way. Because what we have is true love for one another. We have a love that's founded on the same unconditional love that Jesus Christ has for us. But also we hate the gays. It's the same love that our parents had for us growing up. And the same Dude, love that we'll pour out on our own nice children thing. someday. He is very well uh, kempt, I will, I will say that. And that love is what makes visible God's invisible graces for us. I truly love you with all of my heart, Kate. There's no one else I'd rather call my wife. And no other way I would want our story to be told. Dearly beloved, gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together Caitlin Bennett and Justin Maldow in holy matrimony. The husband makes a willing and unending commitment to encircle his wife with his protecting care, to honor and cherish her with unfailing affection, and to guard her happiness with unceasing vigilance. Caitlin, no, there's a bus! The wife is committed to love and cherish her husband honor and sustain him and to be true to him in all ways so caitlin and justin before god and all these very interested witnesses here i ask you to pledge your love to one another i justin take thee caitlin to be my wedded wife again to be my wedded wife again. to have and to hold from this day forward to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse for better or for worse for richer or for poor for richer or for poor in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death do us part <laughs> Do death do us part. And before Almighty God. And before Almighty God. I pledge thee my love forever. I pledge thee my love forever. I do have to say, like, this, again, nothing against, like, a highly produced uh, wedding video. I'm sure this, like, if their marriage lasts, it'll be something that's really nice to, like, look back on and watch in, like, 30 years, you know? You know, like, a wedding video can be really, really nice. Poop, poop girl got married? True. Bold, again, bold choice for the white dress. Caitlin, I have known you since before your political successes. And I political successes. Honestly, all of their friends and family are really sus in this video. Just gotta say. I'm so proud to see how much you have grown. Oh, don't worry, Sarah Scorpion. We're going to get to know their content really well in the uh, minutes after this video is done. You. you are the most genuine and strong person I know. You are so inspiring and such a beautiful friend, and I can't thank you enough for all that you have done for me. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see how far you go in your life with Justin. When I first met Justin while I was in college, he drove all the way to Kent to table with Kate and hand out buttons. And I was like, wow, that guy must really like Kate to drive that many hours just to hand out buttons on a club table. And although Kate definitely Kent gave you some inspiration and motivation, Justin, because we've all seen that picture of you with the big beard. <laughs> Um, 
Without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. And although we are states apart now, I still thank God for the one day I decided to come table on campus and meeting you guys changed my life. <laughs> But one thing's for sure, these two make an inspiring duo. So sure. let's wish the new couple, or I suppose the year old couple, great happiness and adventurous future. And if you ever need anything from me, you know I have your six. I thought that was in the video. <laughs> Dear Lord, your first miracle was at a wedding feast. And it is a miracle that we are all gathered here as one family and one body of Christ. Lord, we thank you for the many gifts you pour out on us. And we especially thank you for our parents who shaped us into the adults we are today. If you will, Father, let our marriage prosper. And by the fruit of our love, May you draw us closer to your kingdom. What is what is this shoe thing that they're doing? I'm not I'm not entirely sh like is this a wedding thing? I've never seen this. I'm gonna need some sunscreen for all this whiteness. <laughs> we pray, Lord, for those in our lives who have made so many sacrifices for us, but could not be here with us today. And we thank you, Father, for this beautiful ceremony and ask that you may bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. People marry either the one Welcome back, Earth. or the other one. Oh, yeah, if you'll notice, uh, that cake had literal gold on it. And this kind of venue would probably cost, I, I don't know, like, Hundred thousand dollars minimum? Like, I don't know. This is a pricey wedding. Here you are. You married the one. Here's the wedding shoe game. Playing the wedding shoe game couldn't be simpler. When the moment comes, enlist the help of the bridal party to clear the dance floor and set it up. To set up the game, put two sh chairs back to back in the center of the dance floor. The couple should sit on the chairs so they cannot see each other. Um, have both of them take off their shoes and swap one of them. That means that each person will have one of their own shoes and one of their partner's shoes. Oh, then you start asking questions. Oh, okay. Who made the first move? All right. It's like 20 to 50 questions. 50 questions? All right. Cool. Uh, okay. okay. That, all right. Evil energy emanating hard off of that vid. Now, I want to make it clear. I'm not, like, against, um, like, religious weddings or religious ceremonies. I'm not against, like people getting married in elaborate ceremonies necessarily but like what really colors this video is the fact that Caitlyn Bennett is uh not a good person and neither is her husband who actively produces her content let's uh Let's watch her newest video. Libs don't know what a father is. May want to turn, you know, go to the other side, and I feel like that we should give her the same or he, her the same respect when she turns over. And if she wants to have a kid, we should celebrate her as a father, and she, it should be Father's Day for everyone. It shouldn't just be about gender. What is a father? Does it have to be a male? Does it have to be a man? No. Or can a father be anybody? Yeah. I view her as like my dad in a way. Can a woman be a father? Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. I, I definitely think so. They can. I mean, it's, um, they. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Th this is this is the woman who just got married in that video. Can a woman be a father? 
A mother can definitely be a father. Just whatever you want a father to be. Yeah. yeah. There's no specific criteria that makes a father a father? Not really, no. What about a mother? No. Mother, well, to me, my mom is just the one who gave birth to me. Oh. Yeah. Is there a specific name for that? Like, is there any category of people who give birth? Uh, biologically females, but it doesn't have to be. Happy Father's Day! We're here in Clearwater to see if people even know what a father is and if we should just get rid of Father's Day altogether because it's super offensive. Let's find out. Speaking of Father's Day, if you forgot to get your dad a shirt from LHMerch.com, don't worry. We have 4th of July shirts and they're on sale 20 Wait, do they, do they sell shirts that say hetero? Speaking of Father's Day, if you forgot to get your dad a shirt from LH... Yeah, they, they, sh they sell straight pride shirts and hetero pride shirts and two genders uh, <laughs> mugs. Yeah, I forgot how terrible they are. Goodness. This woman is a dipshit? True. Merch.com. Don't worry, we have 4th of July shirts and they're on sale 20% off with code JULY4. You can just double it up, 4th of July, and say sorry for not getting your dad a gift. How dare you? And not to mention, you can also get this really to the point shirt that says arrest Dr. Fauci. Who doesn't want to do that? LHMerch.com. See you there. So, is there anybody you want to say Happy Father's Day to? Yes, to my dad. He's the best dad in the world. Do we have the same dad? My dad's the best dad in the world. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. You never know, right? You never know. You never know. What is... You, 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 nev you never know. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. One of my favorite things about one of my favorite things about Caitlyn Bennett is the way that she'll just go out and make these videos where she just owns herself repeatedly and then looks at the footage with her now husband and goes, yeah, this is a good video that I want to post publicly. It's literally just Republicans posting their L's. It is incredible. Is a father what is a father mm -hmm. a father is somebody that has a kid um, responsible of a family family right that could also be a mother that was a based answer from this dude not what i was expecting mother yeah uh -huh. yeah so what is the difference between a mother and a father i don't know why. it's not a trick question i don't know we i don't know i don't know i don't know i can't answer that what makes a father not a mother? Oh, um, I, I don't know either. <laughs> what, what is a father? Uh, well, personally to me, my father is my dad. Yeah. But also, I have other people who like filled that father role for me right. in other aspects. But just whatever you want a father to be. Yeah. yeah. There's no specific criteria that makes a father. She, she's basically doing this to try and get people to, um, say that a father has to be a man and by a man they have to mean a biological man so somebody who's assigned male at birth tr i.e. trans men couldn't be fathers that that's what she's pushing for that's the entire point of this video your father not really no what about a mother no. mother well to me my mom is just the one who gave birth to me oh yeah. Is there a specific name for that? Like, is there any category of people who give birth? Uh, biologically females, but it doesn't have- Also, her video title is Libs Don't Know What a Father Is, but there's nothing to indicate any of the people she's talking to are liberals. She's just going to a beach. She, she, like, this is just a beach full of random people. She has no idea what the political uh, orientation of any of these people are, or is. Have to be. If they want to celebrate on Father's Day, they can do that too. Right. Even we don't have to men. get rid of it, uh, even though they're not men. If they consider themselves as a father, then Father's Day would be for them too. Technically, Based. to me, she is a father. What a father is is someone who's there for their kids. I mean, teaches them. Weirdly enough, 
uh, Liberty Hangout videos, despite all of their attempts at blatant transphobia and homophobia, um, are restore my faith in humanity because they consistently find a huge section of people who are just like, no, yeah, you should be decent to other people. Yeah, what what are you talking about? Yeah, she's like a she's like a father to me because she did all the things a father would do, you know, <laughs> like some things right from wrong. That's her. Just because. Is there anything male. that separates a father? Like, what is specific about a father? What makes a father a father? I mean, someone that teaches them, like I said, right from wrong. Um, you know, just teaches them morals, values, how to change your oil. She does all of that. Well, isn't that just a mother? Because you're using she I'm pronouns. I'm mom. I mean, I'm mom. I do the motherly things. She does the fatherly things. Can anybody be a father? I guess so. Hey, uh, just as an FYI, again, can't can't be in chat advocating for violence against anyone, even if we really, really dislike them. Oh yeah, like some people are a mother and a father, like single moms. Sure. Are they, are they mothers and fathers, or are they just single mothers? See, by the way, these people aren't even, like, like pink-haired, lesbian, ultra-communists. They're just like, no, yeah, single moms could be, like, father figures, sure. Like, these are just, like, average normal people. We have no idea what their politics are. They're just like, yeah, no. Yeah, obviously someone could be considered a father. They can fill both roles, like, you know, they can do, like, you know, baseball games and stuff and take the dad role, sure. Yeah, they can take the dad role, but they're not dads, right? I, I, I guess, no, I mean, I don't know. It depends on how you interpret it, I suppose. <laughs> how do you interpret it? I, that anybody can be whatever they want to be. Anybody can- I don't know, Paladin Lost, we did a, we did a John Doyle video yesterday, and he did, he- he did post his L's. It was- it was pretty funny. Like, halfway through the video, he had to be like, Yeah, see? This is what I meant. Conservatives are totally not homophobic. Can be whatever they want to be. That's interesting. How's that work? Because I don't care how people identify, and that's their own concern. Can a woman be a father? Um, yes. Yeah? I definitely think so. They can? I mean, it's... Um, they... Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can a woman be a father? A mother can definitely be a father. Sometimes, you know, depending on a particular situation, a mother may have to be considered mother and father. Mm -hmm. Can a she a do a fatherly a mother. things? I mean, what is a father? Um, I mean, a role model, somebody that you look up to, right? Yeah. I and mean, has no gender? To me, no. 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 You think to everybody there's that's that's mothers, how it is? There's lots of mothers out there that are single mothers who play both roles. Right. But are they fathers? Yeah. If they're single, dad's not around, not there. So that that makes them a man? Roles. That makes them a father? No. I mean, not a man, but it gives them the father role. Do you think women can be fathers? Yeah. Yeah, I know some of them. How's that work? I don't know. They just do they handle they handle their part. When the dad ain't there, I, shit, they just do their thing. I love this so much. She's literally just like finding, going out like, yeah, we're going to find someone who's like, no. Fathers, fathers are, can only be men. And instead she's just like walking up the randos and they're just like being decent human beings. This is amazing. But they're just super moms then. They're not yeah, dads, they're, right? They're super moms. You know, I got one of them. Yes. I got a super mom, you yes. know what I'm saying? So happy Super Mother's Day to your mom, right. number one. Shout out B. Jones, Brandy, you know what I'm saying? I love you, mama. <laughs> Who cares what other people do? If, yeah. <laughs> if you Who cares like it, if there's drag queens on Nickelodeon? If you don't like it, don't let your kids watch Spongebob. What right? does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything she's been talking about? Yeah, shout out to this guy and his mom. Drag queens have nothing to do with Mother or Father's Day. In fact, drag queens can be, obviously, fathers. Because most drag queens are cis men. Right? I guess, yeah, if that's how you want a parent. It's about the being there. Like, it's about the person who's there. I, I celebrate Father's Day because I was a single mom for the, the for a long time. And I was like, yeah, it's my, it's my day too. Mother You're a father too? Yeah, I'm a mother and a father. 
both roles because it's just me and baby was and now he's in the picture what is a father this guy needs this guy needs sunscreen so badly sperm donor <laughs> what is a father a fully responsible adult man who has children adult man yes can women be fathers no you were right. You were right. Let's picture, let's put in some confetti right here. It, it only took 12 people. <laughs> but it doesn't make them a father. Father, father figure. Father figure. figure. Yeah, plays the I father. I view role. her. Well, a father figure is a male. A father figure is a male because that's really important to the dynamic of a child and its upbringing. But I don't know. Is it though? Is it? Lesbians have kids. Those kids do perfectly fine. I mean, that's kind of what I'm out here asking today is, what is a father? Does it have to be a male? Does it have to be a man? No. Or can a father be anybody? Yeah. I view her as like my dad in a way. Okay. So. So Father's Day doesn't have any gender? Not to me, no. I view her as like my Father's Day figure. It's Father's Day on Sunday. Did you get your dad a gift? Yes. You did? Yes. You got him a shirt from lhmerch.com and you used the discount code July4 for 20% off. 20 off. And you got your 4th of July 4th of July shirts there too, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Awesome. Okay, you also got your pride shirts there too. I got my pride shirt. Yeah, we're we're proud over here. Pride month. Pride month. Okay, anyway. Big hard inning question for Father's Day. What is a father? Uh he's my dad and he he loves me a lot. He got divorced though, so I don't know if he loves my mom, but you know. I'm sure he does. Yeah, to some extent, you know. Yeah. I don't think that's how divorce works. I don't think that's how divorce works. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> This has been so much better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah. Also, like, if somebody approached me in public with a straight pride shirt, even if I was, like, still, like, uh, like, if, if I was still in my egg state and, like, identified as, like, a cis, uh, a cis hetero man, like, somebody approaching me in a straight pride shirt would make my alarm bells ring and I would probably think that they were a crazy person, even when I, like, identified as, like, a conservative. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. I think he likes his new 25 year old girlfriend more. Oh my god. <laughs> but. What's your dad? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, being an egg in the trans world is basically um, before realizing you were trans. Um, so you were trans, you just didn't know. You were in, you were in your egg. That's him. Uh, Ben. Ben, what the f <laughs> So I have an opinion on it. I think that, well, one, we were either born male or female, so I- Also, good good on you, Ben. You, you date that 25-year-old and hopefully it works out for you. I think that as mothers, we celebrate Mother's Day for mothers and then we celebrate males as, um, for Father's Day. So, um, I think that transgender or is it gender neutral? I don't know. Out of all due respect, I think it's a choice that they have chosen. But I think that- Dude, dude, is this like a mother-daughter pair? Cause, uh, this lady? About to go off! About to go off! At what God has either made us male or female, and no judgmental, no harm. Let's just put that out there. I don't mean any harm. Everyone has a choice. But that doesn't mean because we choose to um, represent what God created us to be that we can't sell it. <laughs> the, 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 oh, she's just progressively cringing more and more. Celebrate male or female. And so my female. perspective on it is, is that I feel like that in a relationship when you have all those, you know, different perspectives, I feel like that a female may want to turn, you know, go to the other side and I feel like that we should give her the same or he, her the same respect when she turns over and if she wants to have a kid we should celebrate her as a father and she, it should be Father's Day for everyone it should she look 
She doesn't know the ter terminology, but goddamn, she got spirit. Okay. It didn't just be about gender. Yeah, because aren't they choosing their gender, right? Can you choose your gender? Uh, clearly. Well, well, so I'm old school. You can? Yeah, I mean, look at it. I mean, everybody, I'm born a female. <laughs> oh, she gets it. She she got spirit, okay? She doesn't know the terminology, but she got spirit. She, she her heart in the right place. Um, <laughs> also, you know what? You know what? Initially, I was going to say the woman on the uh, right here um, ha like was uh, being kind of bigoted. I just think she's not educated on this subject. Like, she doesn't know that much about trans people. And you know what? I bet if you explained t uh, like transness and trans stuff um, to her, she'd probably be like, oh, so it's not a choice. Okay, well, that, that kind of clears it up, doesn't it? Um, so... Yeah, let's uh, let's con let's continue on. I, y while what she said was wrong and was harmful, I don't think it's coming from a bad place. Oh, and if I wanted to change my gender, I can. How? Uh, uh, surgery? What? All that other extra stuff that they no, do? You can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. As you guys probably figured, that conversation cannot be uploaded in its entirety here on YouTube and Facebook. Go to LibertyHangout.tv to watch the full uncensored no. portion of that video. You're not gonna want to miss it, but I can't play it here. LibertyHangout.tv. See you there. There's trans women. They don't have What's to What's that? Um, it can be anything you want it to be. A, wom a woman can be anything you want it to be? Yeah. It can. Do you guys really want me to subscribe to Liberty Hangout? You guys... How much is this? How much is this? My name is Caitlin Bennett. And I'm the most hated conservative woman on the internet. It's a hundred dollars per year. Oh, sorry, it's a hundred and ten dollars per year. Or seventy-nine dollars per year. Take one for the team. Alright, chat. Chat. Right now. If you guys put $80 into my account, I will subscribe to Caitlin Bennett for an entire year to provide you with free content from her channel, all right? But unless that happens, I'm not doing it right now. Can you pirate her vids? Uh, probably, but I'm not going to. Don't fund her hatred. Open up for voting. Look. Look, this isn't open up for voting. If I get $80 in the next, uh, by the time we finish this Caitlyn Bennett segment, I will uh, use that money to to fund our Caitlyn Bennett adventures. Junie Collini, uh, I'm doing all right. Is that 10,000 biddies? I believe it is 10,000 biddies. The person that gives you that money gets banned. You have no power here, Spooky. Probably like five minutes of cuts. Disthrone, thank you for gifting two tier one subs! You got Isaac and Animate in there too. I'll give you $40 to delete thinking about this bullshit and move on. Alright, uh, I will retract my offer if you give me $40. Let me, let me put it that way. I will keep all money that comes in for myself and not give it to Caitlin Bennett. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're going to go back to this. You go to college? Yeah. Jack, What's your major? I graduated. What would you uh, have? Microbiology. Look, guys, I, uh, I, I, I'm, I, 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 I'm a, I live my capitalism every single day, Jenk. Biology. I gra I graduated with a biology degree. Mm -hmm. She has a degree in microbiology. This woman's about to school the fuck out of Caitlin Bennett. How is it I went through school learning that men are men and women are women? And you went through school as well, microbiology, and we came out with different different educations. Well, there's a difference between men and women in biology. Oh. A man and a woman, that that's that's gender. And gender identity is something totally different. I mean, there can be women that can be like 
as a like male figure, kind of in a way, like that take uh, on that role. You don't think men should? Men can. I don't know. Oh, I mean Paladin lost. Thank you for donating forty dollars. <laughs> All right. I will not be using uh, any money to fund Liberty Hangout. <laughs> it, the the offer is retracted. You were too slow getting that eighty dollars together, chat. <laughs> everyone thank everyone thank right now uh <laughs> y'all make me laugh so hard y'all y'all better thank paladin real hard right now <laughs> Oh no, not eighty dollars! What a fucking nightmare! Someone gave eighty dollars in biddies. No one gave eighty dollars in biddies. Uh, Paladin just made me retract an offer to subscribe to Caitlin Bennett's Liberty Hangout uh, and stream her content. Isaac and Animate. Yeah. Okay, guys, chat, chat. Is the guy on screen going to be an absolute Chad uh, who respects trans people? Or is he going to be a bigot? Which do you think? Which do you think? Chad or Chud? Yeah. Our favorite game. He's going to be a Chud. We got a Chad. We got a Chad. The facial hair on Nervous. The, the piercing, too. We got Chad, Chud, Chud, Chud. Minor bigot. Chad. Himbo. Given the benefit of the doubt. Chad. Okay, we have- it's pretty evenly split. I think a little bit more people are going Chad on this one. Uh, let's see- let's see how this guy, uh, how this guy goes. Men can! I don't know, I mean, just to raise a kid with good morals, respect okay. others. Isn't that a mother? Yes. So what is a father? I don't- I mean, I just said, I don't know. So there's no difference between mothers and fathers? Uh... I mean, mothers are a little more, in my opinion, because you're asking me, feminine, you know, men. They're women? Huh? They're women? Yes. And fathers are men? Well, that's kind of what's going on in this world. Women are acting like men, and men are acting like women. I don't know if you guys are for that or against that, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion, to each their own. What is the truth? My opinion is... No, men. no, what is the truth? I don't know. I'm not on social media. I don't really socialize with a lot of people, but I feel like men should act like men and women should act like women. I agree with you. <laughs> My God, why is it like pulling teeth? Damn, damn. He was dancing on that knife's edge for a while. Came down on a chud. That's really unfortunate. It seemed like it seemed like he almost got it. He almost got it. Ever abolish your Father's Day because you know, like God, He's our Father. And all that, you know, it's just, <clears throat> he's everybody's father in, in reality, you know, and I just think, why would you abolish that? Can a woman be a father? She cannot. No. No. A, a woman can be a mother, but she cannot be a father. She can be a great mother, but not, not a Sprite father. Sepsis, no. Okay. You were very bold. <laughs> And you did not I'm, stutter, you did not I, think about? I'm very passionate about that. Like, a mother can't be a father, and a father can't be a mother either. Why is it? You are the only, the second only person I've talked to that is willing to give it to me straight and not be afraid that they're on that camera saying something like that. Well, probably because they're not me. You know, me, I'm very authentic, one of a kind. You know, I'm not scared to just say what's on my mind. So that's probably why. No disrespect to any trans person, but a man is a man and a woman is a woman. A <laughs> no disrespect, but I'm a disrespect you. Good golly. Father is a man, a mother is a woman, and that's my personal belief. And I don't feel like anybody can change that, or contrary to what they believe, they cannot make that any different. Man, bing, bang, bada. Just wrap it up right there. I'm celebrating Juneteenth. I, how, how do you celebrate Juneteenth? I just bought my Juneteenth flag. Did you? Yes. Very good. Why didn't you have it before now? Well, I was just reminded from the media this week to buy one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you buy your pride flag as well? Yep. I Me left it at too. home, though. I have pride as well. Straight pride. 
I'm straight, and if you're straight and you want to show your pride during June, you can go to latorch.com. You can get 20% off with uh, the code that's on there. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have straight pride? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, blurred lines when I'm with this guy, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we suck each other's dick at night. Like, guys, is it is it is it is it gay to suck your bro's dick? think any of those arguments would hold water if we were to abolish Father's Day? Um, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's offensive. Okay. Yeah. So but... do you want to abolish Mother's Day because you can't chime in on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think there's that subsect of people that want to just ruin something if they don't fit in or they don't like it? I think they're just Exactly. Wait, who's okay? Who's trying to get rid of Father's Day? I missed that part. As long as you don't kiss, it's not gay. Yeah, exactly. Who's trying to abolish uh, Father's Day? Abolish Father's Day? Is that a thing? Oh. Okay, we have. Father's Day is outdated. We need to change. Okay, this is one article from Ellie or L. We need to change the way we celebrate. <sighs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, this is tra just talking about how dads, how less is expected of dads uh, than moms. This this is literally an article written by two gay dads. <laughs> like, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Even the people writing about this are just like, yeah, we we don't want to get rid of Father's Day. We just want to like, you know, change the gendered expectations of fathers. That's incredible. Also, most of these articles are from years ago. Most of these are like three years old. All right. <laughs> Creative kind of, and they just want everything to be about them. I mean, I don't have anything against them that like think that like everyone has their own opinion i just don't think it would happen i, I don't think anyone's canceling father's day not in my book what is a father a father is a man who raises a child i think that's yeah won't, won't people think of the the brave men and women who died to give us father's day in the gender wars this video is from last month yeah but it's the most recent video on the channel plain and simple there's a lot of people on this beach that are a lot oh they're afraid to say the male part of that oh really <laughs> that's silly that's that's one of the biggest that's one of the biggest parts that makes a difference between a mother and a father i think it's really important for people to have a father um like i feel like a lot of people who are in prison don't have a father so it's kind of weird that uh saying that fathers aren't needed in society today it's kind of crazy kind of seems ass backwards um, but, I mean, <laughs> the but, but no one's saying that. Lit literally no one is saying fathers aren't necessary. People definitely need fathers, like, yeah. um, I don't know, you have anything to say about that? <laughs> why are people scared to say that fathers are men? Because... Cancel culture, that's They're why. Right. People I think, and I don't even think it's like a large group of people that are, like, hating, it's just, uh, even companies are... This is the face of a woman who's about to cancel his ass going with the very small minority that just have the loudest and scream the loudest and I mean <laughs> set Mars, buildings Mars on fire for riots dads. like they're just listening to this small minority. They just minority. want to appease the violent extremists out there. Yeah. So, I mean I, I feel like that's not normal like that's definitely. What? Wait what violent extremists against Father's Day are there? Chat did I fall into a bizarro world where like 
I, I know we were memeing in chat just now about the gender wars. Are the gender wars real? Are the gender terrorists real? Are they, are the gender terrorists coming for our precious, precious gender? Like what, who are the violent gender extremists? Are those people children? Well, th this guy definitely does look like a big baby. Not the norm, <laughs> but people just kind of listen to the ones that scream the loudest and... Well, what if conservatives get loud? What if we get loud? Do you think anything will change? Uh, we get ousted as racist <laughs> or um, kind of the FBI starts knocking on your door. What is different? Can't be ousted as a racist if you're not racist. from about a father than any other role model out there i feel like they're strong and they do Dude's like kind of dumped, the dirty sure. work most of the yeah, time they do uh -huh. they, they kind of carry the family on their shoulders and they do that because they're men men <laughs> men men now that seems like why are you asking me this type of question there's people I've talked to today that are scared to say that fathers are men because it's offensive to the trans people out there and the lesbians out there. They want to abolish Father's Day because it's offensive. I think every everybody has to have someone to look up to mm -hmm. and, and I think just being in the system, we, we've worked with foster care before, and I think that it's important for boys especially to have a strong male role model. Right. Who's smoking the devil's lettuce out here? I don't know, but I'm jealous. Do you smell it? <laughs> I think I see the culprit. I think he's, got, he's just running around with it in his hands. I, I, guess, I guess we're done. Another successful owning of the libs, Caitlin Bennett. Uh, totally, completely owned, managed to find the vast majority of people on that beach uh, were uh, reasonable and understood that father is a gender role uh, and a gender construct that can be uh, inhabited by anybody of any gender. You idiots wanted to pay $80 a year for that? <laughs> yeah. Caitlin Bennett destroys... Well, okay. We have to learn, of course, about Caitlin Bennett's idea of pure evil. So, I, I don't think any of us are ready for this. difference between a one minute baby, one minute old baby that was just born, and 10 minutes before when they were about to be born. What's the well, difference? Well, the 10 minutes before, mm -hmm. like the baby was still attached to the mother. Mm -hmm. It's still attached outside when they're born through the umbilical cord. Can we still kill them if the umbilical cord is attaching them? Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that, that's definitely, that one is definitely not Caitlin Bennett uh, posting her L's. Uh, in this case, that would be that lady posting her L's. But also, fun fact, if you can if you can take a baby out of a woman and cut the connection to that baby, you probably shouldn't be able to abort that. Probably shouldn't be able to abort that. <laughs> I will throw this one minute old baby at the wall who's gonna stop me. No one. Father's Day is coming up, guys, and I hate to break it to you, your dad doesn't want another tie. He wants a shirt from LHMerch.com that proudly displays merch, including... My TikTok? <sighs> yeah, do you want to redo your TikTok? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, why, did, why didn't you just come ask to flip me off? Do you... Oh. Hey, guys, you can go to Patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett to support my work. Do you want to flip me off now or later? No. Awesome! You're so brave. You're so pretty. Well, thank you. I'm sorry. You're pretty. I don't like you. You have natural beauty. See, the thing is, if I took my makeup off, I wouldn't be beautiful. Sorry. But you are naturally beautiful, so you got this. Really? I think yes. if you could take your makeup off, you would be beautiful. I look like a little boy. <laughs> I think I you would do. still be beautiful. Well, I appreciate that. Uh -huh. How do you go from flipping me off one second to being so sweet and nice the next? Oh, well, um, I think like inside of you is like nasty and hateful, but like I feel <laughs> like outside of you is beautiful. Um, well, like. <laughs> 
you're transphobic, you're pro-life, you're... Um, Being pro-life is nasty and hateful? Yeah, I think it is. How? <laughs> um, well, I feel like it's like... This is my totally genuine confused face. Taking away, like, a woman's right to, like, her own bodily autonomy. So, like, I feel like that's a little hateful. <laughs> Is it hateful to stand up for people in the womb who don't even get the basic right to life? Clumps of cells in the womb, not people. You. I just, I just have to say, it's it's pretty brave of Caitlin Bennett to, uh, as as a uh, self-admitted little boy, uh, to take a stand against this uh, uh, this fourteen-year-old girl who just came fresh from TikTok. Okay, very very brave of this little boy to stand up to this fourteen-year-old girl. A clump of cells. Every part of you is made up from clumps of cells. So I'm like the same, like on the same level as a fetus? You are on the same level as a human that is formed from conception and you matter just as much as the person that's inside of a womb. You both matter equally. Your life matters and so do, does theirs. And really? If you're in a burning building and you have an option, to save like a tiny clump of cells, like an embryo in a in a vial, you know, and, or like a fully grown human. Which are you gonna save? The building's on fire. You can only take one. I think we know who would take it. Everybody's life matters because they have the inherent right to life. And I wish you would take that same energy of loving and being, you know, I'm sure you think black lives matter. Yeah, they do. They do. Side. And they it matter is. in the womb. You do not have the right to end someone else's life. That's simple but as like, enough. If, but what if the life's like attached to you? Then it's technically like belongs to you. No. And I feel like you have a right to like, let's we'll see what happens. No. She's kind of right. Except she needs to rephrase her argument to uh, be talking about bodily autonomy. Well, we see what happens, and that's that they grow, yeah. and they form, <laughs> yeah. and they're human. Uh, do I know how abortions work in the U.S.? Um, uh, Junie Collini, um, in the U.S., uh, abortion is incredibly safe, um, far safer than childbirth, and uh, child mor like the like the mortality rates for mothers going through childbirth, even if you're in a hospital in the United States, is pretty bad. And it gets even worse if you are not white. If you're not white in the United States, uh, child, like, birth mortality, i.e. the mortality mothers experience during childbirth, um, is terrible. Like, you're twice as likely, three times as likely to die somewhere in that ballpark uh, as a white woman if you're black and giving birth. Human beings, do you think that an elderly person in a wheelchair that can't walk anymore, he's 90 years old, he's at the end of his lifespan, do you think he's any less of a person no, than a two month old? No, he's like a human, he's already been born. But that's- Kate, Caitlin Bennett, here, here's the, here's kind of like your, your counter, uh, why are black women at higher risk? Well, because black women have access to fewer resources and the hospitals in their areas are generally, uh, more poorly funded and overcrowded. Um, now, uh, on top of that, why you no ban? I, I don't know why we'd ban you. Uh, you haven't done anything or said anything in chat. Um, if you want to be banned, uh, there, you can definitely say things in chat. That's fine. Let's see. Uh, what was I just going to say? Oh, yeah. The, uh, the equivalent here would be to say... What you know? You like you think a ninety-year-old's life uh, should we just end a ninety-year-old's life? Well, the answer to this is well, if the only way we had to do like blood dialysis was to like sew a young person to a ninety-year-old man, or like do that kind of like Mad Max Fury Road thing where we just like use human be young human beings as blood bags for the rich, um, like. Would it would that be ethical? Would it be unethical of you to be like, no, I don't want to be sewn to an old man for the next nine months, even if his life depends on it? No, it's totally ethical for you to uh, maintain your bodily autonomy, even if it costs somebody else their life. It's a stage of development. So a fetus, no matter what stage in the pregnancy, 
they are in stages of development. Look, Caitlin Gearbox, I don't want to, uh, Catalina Gearbox, I don't want to show a picture of her shitting her pants on a uh, stream. Of a human life cycle. They are a human. They like, are nothing else. That's the beginning else. of it. So, like, it's... That's a, hu a conception? That is the beginning of a human lifespan. Yeah, but, like, see, some people, like, I obviously disagree with that, and I know a lot of people do, but, like, I know a lot of people think that, like, life starts at conception, and I feel like... Like, what if you don't believe life starts at conception? Like, you should, like, if you don't believe that, then you have, like, a right to, like... If I don't believe like, that not black everyone, like... people are human, do I have the right to go out and hurt them? I don't know, Caitlin Bennett. Maybe, maybe look at the, uh, history of America on that one. Maybe, maybe look at the history of America on that topic. Because you'll find that the history of America did indeed back that position. No, because it's like- No, because opinions and feelings don't determine personhood and they don't determine oh if they can be committed against with acts of violence. That's your opinion and your feeling does not determine if you can kill somebody. Bye, Chun Li. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Do you see where I'm coming from? I I do see where you're coming from. Okay. I would look more into it. There's a lot of good websites. Uh, you know, I have looked into it, yeah. Yeah, I would look yeah. into it because there are there's evidence that that's when life begins. And even not, if, even if not, even if we're not sure, would you stop in the road if you were driving? Yeah, muddy dumplings. Yeah. The picture of her pooping her pants is not something you want in your brain. Trust me. <clears throat> Uh, but, uh, again, imagine having a debate with, like, a 14-year-old and being like, yes, this is something that I would have put out on, on my YouTube to 600,000 people because I think this optically looks good for me. Coming down the road and you thought you saw a human go out into the middle of the road, would you stop and break? Yes. And, and you're not sure if that was a person or not, but you would stop and you would try to save them. Have that same perception and that same energy about people in the womb. If you're not sure, you should probably err on the side of safety that we don't kill them. No. 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 I'm not going to change my opinion. That's, that's upsetting. That's Base, upsetting. Yeah. What would it take to change your opinion? Um, I don't know, Caitlin Bennett, what would it take to change your opinion on trans people? Or, uh... Uh, the gays. Nothing. So what's the difference between a one minute old baby outside of the womb and 10 minutes before that when they were about to be born? What's the difference? Um, fun, fun fact. Um, you even in places where abortion is legal, you can't just like murder, like just because the baby hasn't been born yet, you can't just be like, Yo, we can crush its skull in, y'all. Like, what? What is this? That's not how it works. They just take they they take the baby out at that point. At the at the point where like a baby is about to be born, like they, at that point they just do a cesarean section. It's not like they do uh like a like some kind of uh like they mixing acid into the womb or whatever. It's true, my mods do need a tip. I agree. Uh, these people don't understand what abortion is. They don't. They really don't. They literally think abortion is um, taking, like, a, a fully grown baby out of a womb and just being, like, taking a hammer and smashing it. Like, that. That's that's, like, the conception that they have. Well, and the thing is, people people can get abortions in the third trimester. That's definitely something that can happen. But, usually, it's incredibly, incredibly rare. And also, the methods that they use at different points in uh, the trimester phases are different. Like, you can't take plan B when the child is like 10 minutes away from being born. That's not how it works. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. You're fine. Um, um, what was the question again? So what's the difference between a one-minute 
baby, one minute old baby that was just born, and 10 minutes before when they were about to be born. What's the well, difference? The 10 minutes before? And that's true. Third trimester abortions are almost always done to save the life of the mother. Mm -hmm. Like the baby was still attached to the mother. Mm -hmm. It's still attached outside when they're born through the umbilical cord. Can we still kill them if the umbilical cord is attaching them? Yes. <laughs> <gasps> I'm sorry. Are you joking with me? Because I don't think that's funny. So a baby is born, and if they have not cut the umbilical cord yet, you think it's okay to end their life? No, I'm just, I was just joking. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, the entire video was premised on the fact that that interaction was 100% genuine. Wait, what? No. Because if not, you got to get to therapy because that is not okay. But I think you are joking. Yes. You seem a little nervous. So I think that was a joke, right? Well, also, you're a fully grown adult woman and she's 14. Like, come on now. Uh, yes. I would hope so. I would hope so. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. Anything else? Well, I'm not transphobic. I've never Can said I that I hate you. you. Um, you cannot, but if you want to take a picture with me, my yeah, you, you definitely can't be transphobic if you've never said the words explicitly, I hate trans people. You're only transphobic if you explicitly say that you hate trans people. That's the only way you can be transphobic. No other way is possible. Definitely not. Also, you're only racist if you say, I hate black people. You're, you're not racist if you don't say those words. Like, for example, like, if you punch a black person, doesn't mean you're racist. Come on now, hate crime laws, they're really overstepping, am I right? Punch a trans person? Not a hate crime. You're just punching a person. Like, goodness. Mike will take the picture for you. Okay. But, yeah. All right. Ready? <laughs> you you Ready to flick okay? Her off? <laughs> All right, I hope you. She, she didn't flick her off. I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in this child. Think about what we it. talk about and change your mind. There's a lot of good websites that you can look at. I will look at your websites. Not my website. You can you can your look at that. Website. 38 uh, Northwood Drive. Wait, Northwood Road, Austin, Texas. Thank you very much for the follow. Websites that you suggested. I would look at pro-life websites pro -life. that specifically talk about abortion. That specifically talk about. Wait, she made fun of the nose of Anne Frank. What? What? Wait. All right, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing Anne Frank uh memes. <laughs> uh Thank you. Was that a dox? I don't think so. <sighs> Oh yeah, I knew she was a Nazi. I just didn't, I haven't seen the Anne Frank stuff. About the right to life, yeah. they focus on that. Got it. And there's a lot of convincing arguments there. I gotta go. All right, bye. I don't think she was joking. I'm just... you, you didn't hear the fart? I definitely did. Wait, let me, uh... I think I think it's there now. You can try it again if you'd like.
Aw, oh, Talon, thank you for the 100 biddies. It's an internet ghost? True. I'm just gonna say that out there. No matter who the president is, my work here will not stop. To defend the values of conservatism and to do that, I need security. To donate to my security fund, to pay this guy to follow me and be with me everywhere I go, go to patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. Thank you for help keeping me safe. I, I do have two alert boxes set up. Oh, yep, okay. Nope, the thing I just added, uh, just added another alert box. There we go. Milf Hunter, thank you for the follow. Party of inclusion and, and intolerance. So they said uh, if I were a Trump supporter, they wouldn't come and talk to me, but I've been hearing that people are voting for Joe Biden because of decency, civility. There's division caused by Trump and his supporters, yet if I were a Trump supporter, they would not have talked to me. Very decent, very civil, very tolerant. There's a lot. Yeah, imagine people not tolerating intolerant people. How how wild. Andy from Ohio, thank you for subscribing and for being part of the community for the past six months. <sighs> not that I want to say about the election that Facebook would fact check me for saying. If you want to see my raw, uncensored opinion and behind the scenes footage from here at the beach. I can't say anything about the election that isn't uh, factually incorrect. So. People like you make me sad. Sad. Did you guys hear it that time? You guys heard it that time. I saw it on the audio. Will I rename myself Jack from MN? No. <laughs> Go to libertyhangout.tv. It helps support my work and it helps you watch my content even if they- All right. And we have one more Math is getting woke in Virginia. This initiative- You're not hearing anything? Okay, but other people are saying they, they heard stuff. Woke math now, baby. We'll eliminate all math acceleration prior to 11th grade. Accelerated classes include geometry algebra one and calculus they want your kids to be equal equally stupid that's what, what? they want from your kids wait 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 they're considering algebra one yes. in advance i yes. took algebra one in the sixth grade yeah have we really come this far in what 15 years <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Liberty Hangout Unsafe. Most people learn algebra in high school, not in sixth grade. I.e., like three years later. Censored. <laughs> we are going to talk today about why you shouldn't have your kids in public school, especially if you live in Virginia. This is such a scary, disgusting, weird. I would say it's just. It's really evil thing coming from the department. Hi, Adam Leaves. I was in a tier list on Twitter. That's exciting. Was it Danabo's tier list? You should drop me a link so I can look at it. Department of Education in the state of Virginia. Uh, this is coming from Fox News. Basically, I'll sum it up in like 10 seconds here. They want your kids to be equal. Equally stupid. That's what they want from your kids. Not take the kids who might be at a lower education and rise them up. It's taking the kids who are smarter, maybe a little better, and dumbing them down so that everybody feels equally stupid and maybe we don't get to hurt some feelings this is from fox news virginia moving to eliminate all accelerated math courses before 11th grade as part of equity focused plan state says framework includes differentiated instruction catered to the needs of the child 
Not if you're smart, not if you're a smart child. However, they leave that part out. The Virginia Department of Education is moving to eliminate all accelerated math options prior to 11th grade, effectively keeping higher achieving students from advancing as they usually would in the school system. He talks in the beginning of- Wait, no, advanced students would just be able to take advanced courses starting in 11th grade, meaning, and by the way, usually adva taking advanced courses usually entails getting college credit. So that's probably why. It probably has something to do with the college curriculums. It be good for some students, but then he goes on and he's saying, as this is currently being planned, this initiative will eliminate all math acceleration prior to 11th grade. That is not an exaggeration, nor does there appear to be any discretion in how local districts implement this. All sixth graders will take foundation concept, foundational concepts six, all seventh graders will take foundational concepts for seven, tenth graders, blah, blah, blah. And then- Hey, Lethal, thank you very much for the follow. blah 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 and then when they get to 11th grade then they can take other classes and fox news reports basically that the accelerated classes include geometry algebra one and calculus i don't know about you guys those were all classes i were i was taking before 11th grade um wait 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 fun fun fact guys i just clicked a lot of buttons um most people don't take calculus in high school. Guys, literally in, in college, the requirement for me to graduate regarding math was taking pre-calculus. I didn't need to know calculus at all in my educational uh, career. Also, oops. Fact check. Proposal would not eliminate advanced math classes in Virginia. Womp womp. Formal proposal is still under discussion, but an April 24th post made by Freedom Fights claimed the state was going to drop all advanced math classes below 11th grade due to unequal minority representation. Uh, USA Today reached out to the user for comment. The initiative will update the high school pathway, but it won't eliminate advanced math classes for eligible students. Um, the Virginia Mathematics Pathways Initiative uh, is a joint initiative of the State Education Department and the State Council for Higher Education for Virginia and the Virginia Community College System. Like I said, related to the college system. The goal is to create updated math instruction for students in grades K through 12 to prepare them for their post-secondary education and careers. VMPI will increase rigor by integrating mathical, mathematical concepts and content, emphasizing reasoning and problem solving and providing a highly relevant experience for all students, states Virginia's educational development or department website. It will also include a new focus on statistical literacy, essential for success in a data-rich world. The initiative allows students to take advanced mathematics classes according to ability and achievement, but it doesn't dictate how and when students should take these courses. That decision will come from students and school divisions based on individual learning needs. Acceleration is not going away. Absolutely, acceleration is not going away in mathematics courses in Virginia, Virginia State School Superintendent Dr. James Lane told local news station uh, WWBT. If a student needs an accelerated pathway, they will absolutely get it. Lane said current discussions are focusing on including da data analytics in curriculums and course loads. The State Board of Education is required to review and, if necessary, revise its standards in all subject areas every seven years. Virginia Department of Education spokesperson Charles Pyle told USA Today via email. The Pathways Initiative is the beginning of the mandated process. Literally, guys, this is just something that happens every seven years. It's just, this is just something that Virginia is legally mandated to do every seven years. And they're throwing a, they're, they're pooping their pants over it. 
and they're still going to have accelerated classes. Now let's watch them uh, cry over the fact that this is uh, not happening. They're considering Algebra 1 yes. in advance. I yes. took Algebra 1 in the 6th grade. Yeah. Have we really come this far in, what, 15 years? So our school... That you school can't take Algebra 1 until 11th went to grade a now? School, you went to a smart high school. I would say most public educations, most public education schools... I don't know. Was your school edu public education? It was, pub it was a public school, but also 6th grade is middle school. Well, it's sick because they're using children as a way to achieve their wokeness. Because if we can make sure that all the kids coming out of this state are equally dumb, it's easier to control them. I, I don't know. That, that seems easy to me. So moving on with the art. It's ironic because Caitlin Bennett is showing in this video that she's actually the one that's easiest to control by being unable to fact check her information before going on uh, her streams. Article it says during a webinar posted on YouTube in December, a member of the Essential Concepts Committee claimed that the new framework would exclude traditional classes like Algebra One and Geometry, like, like Geometry, like I'd mentioned before. Committee member Ian, who focused on grades eight through ten, said, "Let me be totally clear: we are taking these out." Blah blah blah. I already read that. Um, he added that the concept courses wouldn't eliminate algebraic ideas, but rather into <laughs> yeah. We, we all know that the teacher's pet is famous. Famously the dumbest kid in class. <laughs> Weave multiple strands of mathematics throughout the courses. Those included data analysis, mathematical modeling, functions and algebra, spatial reasoning, and probability. You know what I just realized? It's really freaky. So right now, what are one of the biggest pushes that the Democrats are making? Women in STEM. I was going to say universal health care. Right. Sure. They push science on us. Yeah. How are we going to have <laughs> scientists when they're only learning algebra when they're 17 years old? Well, also, they want to make sure that they're... Do doctors need to have a very firm grasp on math? Like, do, do doctors need to do complex calculus? I don't... I don't think so. I might be wrong on that one. But also... The entire story that they're freaking out about is fake and non-existent. This isn't a problem that exists. We're putting in women and uh, people people of color into, you know, being pilots. Like some some places yes. want to do that. Um, so now they're going to... You know, what do I think of the G slur? I don't know what the G slur is. You have to choose based on skin color and your sex, which is the same thing as gender, and then they're gonna- It's not, though. Mo most academics know that it's not. I have to also, uh, what- Gonna have to specifically pick from Virginia where they can't accelerate you know, in math? I, I, I think of all the things that they've pushed over the last decade, be it affirmative action or any other policies, I think this is the absolute most damning initiative <laughs> because you can't have any semblance of order or any functioning society if everyone's going to be stupid. Your most important things require very intelligent people. And they want us to be dumb as a pile of rocks. Well, they, this is also really good because if you stifle, especially math, with math, you need math. She said this was Virginia, which again, it's not happening. The entire story is made up. Math for science, and you need science for math. They go hand in hand. What's going on right now? We have such a debate in this country about science. And what are they specifically targeting? Math, because with math, you get to look at data, you get to look at statistics, you get to- Literally, not only are the things that they complain- that they're complaining about not happening, but also, they're citing worries about people being unable to understand science and data and statistics. Literally, part of the changes that are being take- that are being done in Virginia are being done specifically to highlight- statistical literacy so that kids can grow up to be people who know how to interpret data and statistics.
to look at trends over the time. With math comes statistics and probability. Maybe they don't want statistics and algebra and everything. So they don't want them to question things like Lavender Gunner, what is what is the G slur? I, I still don't know what the G slur is. I'm very curious. This. Well, you know what you know what's really interesting? This ties into Gremlin Kicker, thank you for the follow, and also please be nice to our gremlin friends. Some of them are cute. To a, a subject that I cover. The G slur is gilf. It starts with just with Gus. I, I, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely confused. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I guess those are my thoughts on the word for Cubans. I, I genuinely have no idea what that slur is. So that's, that's my take on it. Guster, I mean, they have a lot of white fans. I I don't have any thoughts or opinions about the G slur. Yeah, that's the anarchist weasel. That's the only one I could think of off the top of my head. But like, that that doesn't have anything to do with Gus or or Cubans, to my knowledge. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't have any strong opinions about it, and I don't know anything about it. So, uh, that's my answer in the book that I'm working on is that liberals don't want us to learn about certain topics because they are the truth and they don't want us to understand the truth because in my opinion truth leads us to believe in the existence of God and so math is you know what you know what I'm willing to call that bluff okay uh, all Republicans should get free college all right Give Republicans free college. Let them go to university um, and see how that works out for you. How many how many more uh, God-fearing people in this country you get, all right? Because um, all the data indicates that if you go to college, you're much less likely to believe in God. Give truth. So how can we sit here and talk about concepts such as two genders or any other of the sciences they want to discuss while at the same time they're trying to withhold by the way, I love I love how he's talking about like STEM and real science while like throwing biology under the bus. <laughs> mathematical truths from us as well. Yeah, that's a good point. You got it. You got it here, Justin. Oh. I figured it out. We're big brain. See, We're I, big brained here. I wouldn't have figured this out if I didn't take algebra in sixth grade <laughs> and pre calculus in ninth grade. Maybe instead of not offering like taking classes away maybe they should add more classes no kidding <laughs> instead of taking things away maybe add more so that the kids that are less gifted can get to the same well, let's level. just get rid of you know what Kate caitlin's right we should properly fund all of our schools and take funding uh, out of the hands of states in the form of uh, property taxes and properly fund all of our schools so every school can have a, a, plethora, a plethora of uh, different programs and classes. You know what? I agree. Unintentionally based Caitlin Bennett. Public education. That would be the yes, best thing for this country. That one. What you guys just watched was only a tiny fraction. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure that this guy has no idea what pre calc is. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't know what algebra and pre calc is because he's claiming to take classes in sixth grade that most people don't take until high school. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, the VOVA in the United States, uh, public schools are funded through property taxes. Um, Largely as a result of uh, white people not wanting to fund black schools. Um, and so, essentially, if you live in a poor inner city area, your school is also going to be incredibly shitty because you live in a poor area and nobody owns their properties. So the property taxes are uh, not going to the schools. The existence of God. And so math... Is we already finished this. All right, all right. We made it through. We made it through the dark times. How do we fix that? Well, I I think we need federal intervention. 
We need federal intervention to take uh, property taxes out of the equation. Uh, because another aspect is that because states have control over their property taxes and how schools get funded from property, property taxes, uh, it turns out that uh, most states, uh, especially if they're red states, will just dip into the school funding whenever they need uh, to uh, make up a deficit. And so in a lot of Republican places, um, they just continually cut into property taxes in order to fund other things. And uh, over time, that has led to a grossly underfunded uh, school system in the United States, which is why now you have people going like, well, we need private schools because our public schools are terrible because of a because of literally how segregation affected our schooling system and how racist white people didn't want to fund black schools.